all dear students uh, today we will discuss the concept of a bounded linear operator between two norm spaces so let us begin the idea definition So what we have suppose we have taken we have, suppose that x and y are any two norm spaces this x and this y these are any two norm spaces and p is a function from x to y then this function t is known as a bounded linear operator if it satisfies the following three conditions condition number one t of x plus y equals to t of x plus t of y for all x, y in x. What this first condition says? Whenever you pick any two elements from x, small x and small y, then t of x plus y equals to t of x plus t of y. Putting in other words, this property, this condition says whenever you pick any two elements x and y from x, then either you add them first and then take the image under t or you take the image you take the images of x and y first under t and then add. in both the cases the answer remains same what is the second condition t of alpha x is equal to alpha times t of x for each alpha in k and x in x. What this condition says? Whenever you pick an element alpha from the field k, an element x from the non space x, then t of alpha x equals to alpha times t of x. Uh, means you can take this alpha outside of this. Putting in other words, this property says whenever you pick an element alpha from k and x from x then either you multiply them first and then take the image 
r to take the image of x first and then multiply it by alpha. In both the cases, the answer remains same. Now, let me write the third condition. But this third condition says, it says, what is third condition? There exists a positive constant. There exists a positive constant, say M, such that this inequality gets satisfied. What is inequality? Norm of P of X remains less than or equal to n times norm of x for each x in x. Now what this property says that what this condition says that there is at least one positive constant m which satisfies this inequality. What is it in, what is what is this inequality? This inequality says whenever you pick any element small x from this norm space x, then norm of the image of this x always remains less than or equal to m times norm of x. So, what is then a bounded linear operator? A bounded linear operator is then a function t whose domain is a norm space, whose co-domain is a norm space, and which satisfies these three conditions. Let's visit this condition first once again. If you look at this inequality, you will see that there are two places where this plus sign is appearing. But note that although this plus and this plus looks very similar to each other, but spiritually they may be quite different. Why? Since x and y are elements of this norm space x, so this plus must be the plus associated with the norm space x. And since everybody knows that image of this x, t of x is in y, image of this y uh, again lies in y. And since t of x and t of y are elements of y, so this plus must be the plus associated with the norm space y. So although these two plus look similar, but they are they are quite different. They may be same in some cases. For example, if y and x are same, if you take y and x as same norm spaces, then both of these can be same. But in general, since x and y could be different, so this plus and this plus could be different plus, although they look similar. Same remarks hold for this equality and it is an exercise for you to uh, observe the same thing which I did for this equality. Now, uh, one thing that I also want to uh, uh, tell you about this uh, inequality is that uh, this norm symbol and this norm symbol again they look similar, but again they are quite different. Why? Because this norm is acting on the element of capital X and this norm is acting on an element of capital Y. So this norm would be the norm associated with X and this norm would be the norm associated with Y. And if X and Y are different, the norms would be different. But if x and y happens to be same, then these norms would be same. So, uh, let's uh, uh, recall the definition once again. 
So what is then a bounded interval operator? A bounded interval operator is actually a function is actually a function with both domain and codomain as normal spaces over the same field and we satisfy the following three conditions. Uh, one thing that I also want to mention is I think I have taken uh, the field uh, why we have taken the same field over these non spaces. So let me tell you. Uh, look at this uh, uh, equality. Now here what are you doing? You are multiplying x with the field element and you are multiplying t of x with the field element. No, no if the field that is involved here and the field that is involved here if they are different for example let's say uh, the field over k is uh, c and the field over uh, y is r then there may be a problem why why let's take since this alpha can be any element uh, uh, from since uh, here we are multiplying x uh, with alpha and since x belongs to this x so this alpha must be from the field which is associated with this x and since we are supposed that c is the field associated with x so alpha will range uh, will uh, wander in this uh, c so we may take alpha is equal to y so okay we are taking alpha is equal to i then it would be t of i x is equal to i times t of x. Now this is okay because uh, since x is a field over uh, c and if you multiply i with x the element will be here and hence its image will be here so no problem. But here we have a problem. Why? Because t of x is an element of y, y and since y is a field over r so this means when you multiply any element of y by a real number, only then we are guaranteed, only then we have the guarantee that the result will be in y. This is by the definition of vector space. Um, the definition, uh, in the definition of vector space, you know that if you pick an element from here, an element from here, and you multiply them, you will get an element here. So, whenever you pick an element from y and, and a real number, the product will be in y. But since this i is not a real number, so you are multiplying i, y with something else. So there is no guarantee that the answer would be here. So this thing would not be in y, but this should, this should be in y. Why this thing should be in y? Because it is the image of i x. So i x, the image of x should be in y. But this, but there is no guarantee that this is, this lies in y if it is c here and r here. So different field may cause some problem. That's why we have taken field in associated with both the non spaces as the same.